problem is already in the correct form of y prime plus e of x times y is equal to q of x. So I just need to find mu. Mu is going to be e to the integral of p of x dx. Mu is going to be e to the integral. p of x is this 3x squared term. I'll write that up there. I can take that 3 out, so it'll be e to the 3 times the integral of x squared dx. So mu is going to be equal to e to the 3 times 1 third x cubed. So mu is going to be e to the x cubed. Now I can multiply that to all the terms up here. So it'll be e to the x cubed times y prime plus 3x squared y is equal to x squared times e to the x cubed. So I can distribute all those terms. It'll be e to the x cubed times y prime plus 3e to the x cubed times x squared times y. This will be equal to e to the x cubed times x squared. Now this part here is just the product rule of mu times y and its derivative. And that'll be equal to e to the x cubed times x squared. Now I can integrate both sides. On the left, the integral will cancel with the derivative. And mu was e to the x cubed. So that'll be times y. It's going to be equal to this term here. We can use u substitution. u will be x cubed. du will be 3x squared dx. We already have this x squared, but we're missing the 3. So I'll bring on 1 third on the outside times the integral. It'll be e to the u du which will be 1 third times e to the u, which is x cubed plus c. So now I'll write that over here. It'll be e to the x cubed y is equal to 1 third e to the x cubed plus c. So y will be equal to 1 third times e to the x cubed over e to the x cubed plus c over e to the x cubed. Those terms will cancel. y will be equal to 1 third plus c times e to the negative x cubed. And that is your final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.